Um, I don't really like doing final verdict. I just like being able to take the robe home and tell my wife, here comes the judge. <laughs> <laughs> That's another one I'm going to regret. Okay. No, it's, uh, you know what, it's a, uh, it, I, try to, I try to actually listen to them every week and decide, I try to actually play the role of a judge. Let me, quick story, I'm in Charlottesville this fall doing a game and I'm waiting, I'm waiting for the ride to take us to the stadium. Jesse and David, I think, had, had already, I don't know, they weren't down yet or something, so I'm standing there by myself and this guy comes up to me and he says, uh, man, I love Final Verdict. I watch every week. And uh, I said, oh, great. That's great. He goes, uh, you know, I'm a lawyer, you know, went to UVA law school here, practiced here in Charlottesville. I said, oh, that's great. That's great. I'm glad you enjoyed it. He goes, and you're a lawyer too, right? And I said, no. <laughs> he said, but you use all that legal stuff. I said, you know, I, I watch Suits. I used to watch Perry Mason, you know, and I didn't find, find a few legal terms. But uh, that's probably the best compliment we've gotten. But more people react to that segment than just about anything else. I try to step back from what I believe. Typically, I have an opinion on it. Mark and Lou would tell you I'm really not shy about that most of the time. Um, but I, I try to pick who I think gives the best arguments, most persuasive, most compelling. But I, because, because you're my Alabama brethren, I will confess this. There are times I rule against Lou just to watch him get mad. <laughs> <laughs> and he accuses us because Mark and I, and my wife will say, Mark and I can finish each other's sentences. And, you know, Lou will get mad and say, you've been with Mark for 13 years. He said, you, you, you're conspiring against me. <laughs> and I, I said, Coach, you know I love you too. And he goes, yeah, whatever. He goes, he goes you know what really? He said, you know what really pisses me off. <laughs> and I said, well, he goes, when do you say Mark made a better case than I did? And I said, why do you think I say it? Right there. But uh, it, it's a fun segment. And what we hope to accomplish in that segment is to have some fun, some levity. I know, we know, we, we've, we've all got Twitter. We know it gets on some people's nerves. We also know some people love it, which is probably part of the, the genius, if you want to use that word, of it, is that it is polarizing to some degree. But I think what we like to do is be able to get issues out there, be able to get out in front of issues. And... Um, and give the guys a little bit more latitude in order to make their case and also show the unique chemistry that the two of them have with each other, which is not always an easy thing to find when you have, when you have panelists. That, that's, that's the one thing I'll say about, about my guys. That's, that's what I usually refer to them as in football and basketball. My guys are unselfish, and you don't always see that in television. You see a lot of shows, not just in sports but elsewhere, where every guy sitting on that desk, he's out to get his. Yeah, I'm getting my FaceTime, my comment, my point, whatever. The best shows come when we all realize that if I put Lou in a position to look good, if Mark is generous with Lou, doesn't mean agreeing with him, sometimes it means disagreeing with him, but if you put him in position to look his best, we all look good. You know, it's, 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 not, it's not that much different from being on a team in a lot of ways, and I, and I look at all of those guys as teammates. How much of the work that you do, especially on the show with the two of them, how much of that is really, you know, almost a preset take where you're preparing who's going to take one side? Never. It's never happened. In fact, we spend a lot of time on final verdict trying to figure out what we're going to talk about because if the producer and I are in constant contact all week, and Mark and I are in contact too, and Lou, when you can get him away from $100,000 speaking engagements. Um, uh, if we have an idea and we say, boy, this would be great for final verdict, and if Mark and Lou feel the same way about the issue, we don't do it. I mean, it's, you don't want to be fake in that. Now, will they go over the top to prove their point? Yes. Yeah, of course they do. Uh, some of it is just being competitive. Mark used to get mad when he loses, too. Lou is legitimately furious when he loses. <laughs> and uh, so Mark used to get mad, too. But... Um, so some of it's competitive and it pushes them, you know, maybe to take it over the top from time to time. But they always believe what they say. That, that has never, ever happened. I'll, I'll say this, you say that. Never happens. So I know people will have a hard time believing that, but it's true.